The badger, one of Britain's best-loved creatures, but also one of the cattle industry's biggest headaches, which is why, over the next six weeks, thousands of badgers are to be shot, a cull designed to prevent the transmission of the disease tuberculosis from badgers to cows. In this part of Gloucestershire, most farmers have to slaughter some of their herd most years when cows test positive for the disease. Dairy farmer Andrew Cousins says it's an intolerable burden. To lose a cow, one cow isn't too bad. To lose several is a, a real hit on the business. You know, we're culling cows, so let's cull the badgers as well, or a certain amount of the badgers, to get the disease level down. Then we might have a chance of uh, containing it. Some animals will be caught in traps, but most will be lured out with bait, then shot by trained marksmen. The cull is being conducted in two zones in West Gloucestershire and West Somerset, where approximately 7,000 badgers live. The aim is to kill 70% of them in each area for four consecutive years. The estimated effect of this should be a 16% reduction in TB in cattle in the cull zones. But there's been huge opposition. As well as street protests, more than a quarter of a million people have signed a petition against the cull. It's a terrible, terrible waste. Waste of the lives of wildlife, it's a waste of people's time and energy, and for the farmers, it's a ghastly waste of money. And I cannot imagine why they're queuing up to pay out thousands upon thousands upon thousands of pounds for something which can have no meaningful outcome. The government says despite the strength of feeling, the cull must be allowed to go ahead. There is nothing wrong with people protesting legally and safely. Uh, there is everything wrong with people intimidating farmers and their families, uh, doing some of the things which I'm afraid have already been in evidence and we fear might be again. Uh, that's what the police have to make sure is, does not happen uh, and uh, they will be doing that. It's estimated the extra cost of policing protests could reach four million pounds. Small farming communities now brace themselves for the consequences of this controversial cull. Catherine Jones, 5 News, Gloucestershire.